as a bank, indeed, uh, lending is one of our prime products, uh, both to to governments directly to help them, you know, uh, transition and to help them reach their uh, NDCs, uh, but also, of course, to the private sector. Uh, but the par apart from lending, we do indeed also uh, other structures. You know, we do private equity investments. We are investing in private equity funds, and there are great examples how we are, for example, an anchor investor here in Asia of a, a energy transition fund. Um, that invests exactly in what we are debating here, renewable energy, energy efficiency, but also energy storage, microgrids, and so on. And so um, we hope that with AIB as an anchor investor in such a fund, we can mobilize further private capital um, uh, towards that strategy. We have achieved that already in the first close, but we, you know, the ambition is always uh, larger. So private equity funds clearly is, is one of these instruments. Another one, by the way, is a climate adaptation fund. Very unique structure because climate adaptation so far hasn't really gotten get the uh, momentum from the private sector, which I, you know, which I think will pick up uh, over the years because um, it is happening. You know, whatever we are doing on the mitigation side, climate change is happening and climate adaptation needs more capital. And so we are also anchoring a fund um, with a very reputable manager have mobilized capital. And what they do, for example, is they have invested in a company that produces and delivers hydro panels where they are harvesting water out of the ambient air for rural communities. So that you can, you know, you don't need bottled um, drinking water or or pipe networks. So fantastic ideas that that need fresh capital. So these are things that we are doing as a multilateral. But let me also point out to another kind of um, two structures that we did, which is really in the corporate bond markets. And that's why I'm I'm actually very pleased to see um, Cora and Sandeep here uh, because they are true true leaders in in the region for when it comes to ESG aligned or um, green bond issuances. So we are uh, partnering with two asset managers. Uh, one is Aberdeen Standard Investments, where we have set up the Asia ESG Enhanced Credit Managed Portfolio. Um, and I think there are very interesting lessons learned. One is what Cora just mentioned, ESG engagement is so crucial so that actually issuers and, and, and asset managers talk to each other and think about, you know, um, how, um, how things can be done better. What are actually the crucial factors um, like, like water, like governance uh, or um, what Cora just mentioned, TCFD, and I think there are actually quite some ambitions in her company when it comes to not just scope one and two, but also scope three emissions. Uh, but then also the other part is, of course, ESG integration, right? So how do we make sure that pre-investment we select um, the right securities? And um, yeah, so this is one example. Another one is the Asia Climate Bond uh, um, portfolio together with Amundi, where um, the focus is less on ESG and really on climate, and the climate transition. And there we have developed a climate transition framework, which is also a public, you know, global public resource for others to to look at and to and to join us in um, in that endeavor. 